you investing in other people's lives, encouraging them, investing in something that they can't make a need be met. And you step right on in there like an angel. They didn't expect it. You didn't expect it. The opportunity presents itself and you swoop right down in there. Done. It's handled. And you don't make it a big deal about it. You don't say, look what I did over here, guys. This is a person I just had to help this family out. Don't do that. And if you share these testimonies, I notice what I said here. I've said things I've had my students tell me they did and they proved it. It's not just talking points. They don't go on social media to get credit for it. But they just sent a, a testimony to me and say, hey, look, because of what I learned from you, I was able to help this family. I was able to build this hospital in my village. I was able to build this facility that helps elderly people with illnesses. I have my name. I have my name over wings of medical establishments in other countries. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. But that's what people have done with this. And that to me is amazing. That's amazing. I'm impressed by that. I am brought to tears with that because that's you making a real impact. And it's not about you. It's not about me. And it's not about money. You're doing something for your neighbor, for your brother, for your sister. And you're making an impact that's positive. And anybody that knows that you had anything involved with that, you know what they think of you? They think so much more than you want people to look at you when it's all about you being good about making money and trading. You want to be a rock star, superstar young man doing this. You want to be looked up for that. But I'm telling you, that shit doesn't shine long. It doesn't last. But when you live your life principally oriented and you live like this and invest in other people that need everyone that sees you do that, you really are a fucking king. You really are a goat, the greatest at all times to ever do it, because you're living outside your own skin. You're doing something for other people's in betterment, and you're not asking for anything in return. That's the highest form of servitude and stewardship, and you can't get better than that. You can't get better than that. That's the king's. That's the queens. That's the people that deserve recognition, but they don't ask for it and they don't ever afford the opportunity to receive it. They do it privately. It's between them and God and the people they blessed. That's what it's all about. That's why I'm here doing this. That's why I do it. And that's why you never get a response when you tell me, here's my Audi R8 I bought. Here's my new house I bought. Yeah, I see it and I don't reply. That repulses me. It makes me fucking sick when I see that. That's not what I did this for. That's not why I do it. You could never buy anything enough or spend enough money to ever impress me. It ain't going to happen. But when you touch other people's lives and you encourage them and you give them that little spark to say, look, I know it's off, it's off right now and, and things are difficult right now, but I feel led to do this for you. And I don't want nothing in return. So please let me bless you. And then here it is, it's done. And you, you fill a void in their life that they can't find an answer for. And you watch how the father blesses you. Whether you believe in God or not, he's going to show up in your life. And if you believe in him, he's going to show up and make it known openly. He's going to openly reward you. Don't demand that it's done in public. Don't expect it to be done in public. But if you live your life like that with this, you have no idea how it keeps coming back to you. It just keeps coming back. It just keeps coming back. And you can't, you can't do anything with it. It just overflows. So you might as well get used to finding other people that you can bless with because the splash over, it's got to fall on somebody. And if you've been entrusted with this much and you do it well, being a good steward with it, and you invest in other people's lives and you touch them financially and you reward them with encouragement, Say, listen, I know I was exactly where you are right now. Imagine what you could have started in that life. Imagine the family that you hold together because you did something that they didn't expect and you had the resources and it ain't going to hurt you. It ain't going to break you. This is easy to go out and make another six figures. It's easy to do that. It's absolutely easy. Just walk over to the money tree and pluck it off. But they can't do that. And that doesn't make you better. It doesn't make you superior. It doesn't make you something that you know that you should be worshipped for. But you've been entrusted with this ability. You've been entrusted with this skill set. So you might as well learn to bless other people with it. And when you do, you never run out of it. 
You never run out of it. You never run out of oil. So, stop romancing the uncertainty and embrace the uncertainty. Live your life principally oriented. Build your enterprise around your trading with these things in mind. Let these be the motivators, not just, I want to live a good life. Why? Why do you deserve that? If that's all you're going to do, it's going to be very difficult. But if you start thinking like, if I can become successful at this and I can help other people and be a giver, be a giver. I'm not talking about paying tithes to a church because that's not, that is absolutely not biblical. That is not biblical. It is absolutely, I don't give two shits what you believe because we can go into the scriptures. I'm going to tell you, it ain't real. It is not scriptural. You are not supposed to be paying 10% of your income, period. Absolutely not. But God does love a cheerful giver. And it's not defined by 10%. But you should have this giver mentality. You should have this giving mentality. It should be part of who you are as a character. That person that embodies who you are, if you're not a generous person, you are not going to be successful. I promise you, I promise you, you might have immediate gratification. You might get a windfall victory, but that's all it'll be. It won't be a lifestyle. It won't be a lifelong constant flow of income. It won't be like that. It will not be like that. But when you live your life like this, where you look for someone that's in need, and you're always seeking someone in need, and you help them, the father steps in immediately says, okay, you spent some oil right there. Let me give you double more than that. Let me give you five times more. Than that. Let me give you 10 times. You spent this much on this person helping them and you didn't ask anything for it. Well done. Here's some more. Because I got some people coming down the road that you don't even know that's coming. The opportunity is going to present itself because I can trust that you're going to do something with it well. And I'm, I'm going to give it to you because I want to make sure that you have it for them to receive from my hand. And there it is. And you're not getting any glory for it. You're not getting any reward for it. You're not getting any pomp, any kind of worship for it. You're just the vessel. You're just the instrument that he's going to use. Are you ready to live like that? Are you ready to watch and see that God Almighty can come into your life and someone else's life and use you with this skill set that you're learning? Because that's what this is really all about. That's what this is all about. And too many of you are worried about just being yourself with money. And that's why you're failing. And that's why you're not going to be successful because it's too little of a goal. Because if it's just about you making money and living well, <laughs> you're selling yourself short. You can't imagine the joy and the happiness it feels to live a life that you can look back on and say, look where that family's at now. Look where that family's at now. And God gave me the unique opportunity and privilege to be in at the right time to help them. And you get to see what your small participation in that family, that person's need, and how they turn things around. You have no idea, man. You have no idea. Many of you people are living life all wrong. You're so self-centered. You're so fixated on what it is that you get to get out of this world and not what you can put into anybody else's. That's why we're here. We're not here for us to be pillars of self-worship and attention. We're here to help each other up, lift each other up, and talk each other up. That's what it's all about. So hopefully you found this inspiring. Hope it was something to get your gears turning. But I don't want uh, I don't want things misrepresented or misconstrued why I do what I do. What was my motivation? What is my motivation? Because you heard it today. And those of you that have listened to me with your heart, not just with your ears, 
you've done a lot of these things I've said. And I can't tell you how much of an impact this had on my personal life. My family's encouraged by it. We weep with joy when I see the people that have done well with this information and they live outside of themselves and they make it their life's passion to find constantly, always, how they can take what they have. Because you have a limitless supply, folks. That's what you don't realize. You have a limitless supply of new money all the time. Anytime you want, you walk out there and you get more of it. But what are you using it with? What is the purpose of you getting more of it? Because if it's just for you, that's why it's harder for you. When I asked God to open my understanding, I said, listen, yes, I want to be successful. But I feel like I need to ask it this way. If you give me understanding, I will spend the rest of my life helping other people learn it too. And as long as you give me my mental faculties and my ability to do so, I will do that. And I made it about other people, not just me. And then I'm, yes, I started hearing, look here, look here, look here. I would have a question that would pop in my head that I didn't know where it came from. You know, what, why would the market stop here? Why would it do this? Why would it do that? And then I would hear audibly, look here. Now that sounds crazy, doesn't it? It sounds absolutely crazy. But look at what I'm able to show in price action. There's no books teaching that. There's no books telling you that stuff. And it repeats over and over and over again. So I listened. I took notes and I took direction. And there it is. Sometimes I didn't hear things audibly. Sometimes I just felt an unction. Like I felt like it was pressuring me to, to look at this and don't look so much at that. I'm wasting time. Stop doing that. Go over here and spend time looking at this. And because I was by myself, I poured myself into this and I was doing it for something above and beyond just me. I, I'm of the belief that he listened. What else should I be able to attribute it to? Because I worked real, real hard studying and that didn't do it for me. I spent a lot of money, a lot of time, and none of that stuff worked for me. But when I said, I'm at my wit's end, like I, I'm, I'm done trying it like this. I, can't, I don't have an answer for it. If you help me, I will spend the rest of my life helping other people. And in a lot of ways, it's like a ministry. And I'm not a poster child for Christianity. I'm not a poster child for wholesomeness. I make mistakes. Sometimes I say words I'm not proud of. I am not perfect. I sin every single day. And I ask for forgiveness every single day. Every time I do a live stream, I ask and repent. Every time I do a Twitter space, I ask him and I repent. And I always say, if I said something that led anybody astray, forgive me, that's not my intention. If I say something that offended anyone, please forgive me, that was not my intention. But I have a very unique perspective that many of you don't realize. And I don't deserve it. I didn't deserve it. I don't deserve to have this information. I don't deserve to have this skill set. I don't have the I don't have the position that I can say I earned the right to have this, because I don't. But I believe that it was given to me because he knew my heart. And there isn't a person in this industry that's working harder than I am than helping you and anyone else that's willing to learn it. And proof is, is I could still be making millions of dollars selling it. Right now, I could do it again. And I have no interest in ever doing that again. I love the fact that I can touch other people's lives and they know there's no sales pitch. There's no gotcha sales, no pressure sales. Hurry up and before this deal ends. That's not here. None of that's here. And yet you still see me coming out here live and telling you what's going to happen in the marketplace. using the concepts that I'm teaching, lending you my experience. And every single day, and when I wake up, I pray for myself, my family, and I pray for all of you. I pray that God uses what I teach, what I've taught, and what I say today to encourage you, to inspire you, and bless you. I do this every single day.
even for the people that say they hate me and troll me. I say it the same way for them. Some of you take the things that I do online as antics and to, to get things moving and talking. You take them personally. None of the things I ever say should be ever taken as personal. I have a character online, just like a Christian that plays a part in a movie. That's not who they are. They're just playing a part. ICT is a part. That's a role. That's all it is. You're hearing who I am. This is who I really am. And if you met me, you would not be impressed. You would not look like, oh, I want to live like you. I want to, I want. That's, not, that's not what this is. But because I know the dynamic with most young men, they want that gladiator to look up to. They want that wartime hero. They want that Deadpool figure to latch on to. And it, it garners your attention initially. And hopefully I can hold your attention long enough so that we can hear the things I've talked about today. Because this is the stuff that makes you money. This is the stuff that gives you the successful life. And this is the person that you really want to be, that people look up to, that live their life like this. Not that money-grubbing, self-servicing person on social media that you think is where you should be. I get asked a lot, what's my opinion of Andrew Tate? Uh, I think he's a piece of shit. And he... He takes other people's resources and monetizes them and takes advantage of people's stupidity. I don't look up to somebody like that. I would never look up to somebody like that. So I understand his selling points. People look at that as that's an alpha. That's a, that's a person that's a strong person. I'm not impressed with any of that stuff. I'm disgusted by it. And I don't, I'm disgusted with his perspective on women. I'm disgusted with how he talks about other men and he tries to be something he's not. And that's my opinion. And anybody that has uh, an aspiration to have an online persona like that is ugly to me. And I'm nobody. I, I mean, my opinion doesn't matter in this, but I use enough of those selling points, not that I, because I was doing things before Andrew Tate was ever Andrew Tate, right? But I would do things that were controversial to get people talking. Garner attention. I can I can carnival bark. That means get people come up to the to the to the game. Hold your attention, then challenge you, so that way you make a decision. Look at the content, see if it works, and I challenge everybody. See if it doesn't work, like I said. And the people that do that task of going in to prove it doesn't, they're converted, and they don't realize that was the whole mechanism. That was the whole thing. That was the spider web. I know if you get close enough, you're going to get stuck in it. But I got to cause a crowd. I got to draw a crowd. So I do things to get that to happen. And once you're here, you fall victim to the logic that is the reality of how, why in these markets are booking the way they do. Why do they go up? Why do they go down? Why do they stay in consolidations? Why does it go up and down and taking out the highs and lows and doesn't go anywhere? That's what you learn here. You learn more about yourself than you're ready to admit when you first get here. And that sometimes is the make it or break it here. When you're met with the problems that you're bringing into it, you don't want to see those things. And then because of that, I get vilified because the weak persons, the people that don't like being shown a mirror, what their flaws are. They rise up and they say, you're a fraud. You're a jerk. You manipulate us. You're holding back information. And I'm creating people making millions of dollars with the same content that you have right now. There's no other lessons outside of what I'm teaching that these people are using that are making lots of money. And they're not the only millionaires. They're not the only ones. I have other successful students that stay in the, the anonymity. They don't want to be involved in all this attention. 